Hello, my name is Mrs Charlton and I'm the SENCO at Hermitage Academy. Today I'm going to be telling you all about the SEN department and introducing you to some key members of staff. I know that some of you, including parents, may be worried about starting secondary school. You may be thinking things like, what if I stand out? What if I learn in a different way to somebody else? What if people don't understand me? I want you to know that here in school we do our very best to support all different types of learning needs and we celebrate individuals because after all that is what makes you unique. To get us started I would like to share with you some of the things that I think makes me unique. Now, it's not just me in the SEN department, there are lots of other fantastic members of staff and I think it's about time that I introduced you to them. So, here they are. So, what does support look like here at Hermitage Academy? We have pupil passports that all your teachers will use. It has a lot of information all about you, all your different learning styles, anything else that we can do to support you, all that information is on there to help you make as much progress as possible in class. You may also have an additional adult in some of your lessons and they are there to help you with your learning and support you in many, many different ways. You might take part in some of our fantastic interventions that we have running. You may have some to help fill the gaps in, in knowledge for some of your subjects, or you may take part in ones such as self-esteem, getting organised, or even working with others. We have the Laurier Centre, which is a building you can come to if you feel like you need a quiet space to get yourself back in the right frame of mind. There'll be somebody in there who can support you when you need to use this building. We have break time and lunch time groups that you can be part of if you are a little bit worried about going out and mixing with everybody else. We have some lovely smaller groups that you can come and take part in. And we also have a school counsellor who is always happy to speak to individuals. But most of all, we have caring, supportive staff who want you to feel safe, happy and achieve. I'm now going to give you a few things to think about of how you can prepare yourself for coming to school. I'd like you to think about the routine that you may need when you start school. What time will you need to get up? How will you get to school? Will you come on your own? Will somebody bring you? And as we're getting closer to September, you might want to practice that routine to make sure that you're happy with it. 
and that you know what to do when that time arrives in September. You could even try your uniform on, make sure you're happy with how it feels, get used to it, it'll be different to what you wore in primary school. You could even write down a list of questions, share them with parents, share them with grandparents, ask other friends, see if they know the answers. Have a look on the school website, you will find lots of information on there. Write down what you are most looking forward to about starting secondary school. This gives you something positive and exciting to help focus on. Hi Year 6, I'm Mrs Boyle, the Assistant Senko. You may have seen me earlier in the video. Make sure that you keep watching until the end for the next part of the quiz. Here is the transition task that we would like you to do. Complete your own fingerprint of the things that make you unique and the things that help you to learn. Bring these with you when you start in Year 7. We're all looking forward to meeting you. Hello, my name's Miss West. I'm Head of History at the Hermitage. I mostly teach history and I teach a bit of geography. My quiz question is related to your study of history in Year 7. At the end of the year, you do a little bit on the Black Death. I would like to know, people had some very strange ideas of what caused it. I want four strange causes of the Black Death. Hi everyone, my name is Miss Anderson and I'm an art teacher at the Hermitage Academy. I'm looking forward to meeting you soon, hopefully when all of this is over. But in the meantime, I hope that you've been staying safe. Um, in our subject, we study lots of artists, designers and sculptors. In the northeast, we have a really famous landmark that is viewed by millions every year. That's called the Angel of the North. Um, my question to you is, which famous sculptor created the Angel of the North? And if you can tell me how many metres tall the Angel of the North is, I'll give you a bonus point for that too. Stay safe. See you soon.